Hi, I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures, and behind me we have one of our Thrush aircraft. This has a Dash 6 Garrett motor on it. Something I want to talk about is how we start these engines, how we achieve cooler starts, and how we prolong battery life. It all comes down to this little guy right here. This is made by a company called Start Stick. They're actually down in Phoenix, and Callie and I have visited the facility where they make these. This is a 20 amp ground power unit, so I can actually plug this right into the airplane, and it's going to give me, once it's plugged in, it usually reads about 27.3 volts on my voltmeter inside the aircraft, but it's gonna give 20 amps of power. So what does that actually mean? Well, for one hour, you're going to have 20 amps out of this. If you're going to use more amps or less amps, that's going to either increase the amount of capacity that you have or the time that you have with it or decrease it. So let's say you're using 40 amps, well, you may only get 30 minutes out of this at that point. Or if you're using 10 amps, you're going to get a little bit longer time. The start stick does have a lot of uses besides just here in ag aviation. After talking to them, one of their big customers are helicopters as well as charter and business jets. So the way that Cal and I use this is that we plug it into the airplane, it gives us power. Now we're not starting it just off of our aircraft batteries. The problem with starting these Garrett's in particular off of just the aircraft batteries is that you have a lot of moving mass in that motor. So all the way from the propeller to the back is one solid shaft, unlike something like a PT-6 that's split. So we're turning all of this at once. Trying to do that with just the aircraft batteries, one, it wears them out rather quickly, and two, the starts are rather warm a lot warmer than for my liking, and it makes me a little bit nervous. However, I can plug this in, and it provides the power to get us th through those starts, and we're not just relying on the aircraft batteries. I mentioned some of the different facets of aviation that this can be used in, and that's definitely not my specialty. I really only know the ag side of things. But StartStick has said that a lot of companies are using these just to give the avionics power inside of the aircraft while it's sitting on the ramp for updates or maintenance in general. So it's not just used for starting the aircraft. However, for Callie and I, that's really how we use this. Now I mentioned earlier it being a 20 amp unit. They do have a couple smaller ones at 15 amps as well as 10 amps. I like the 20 because this will obviously start the Dash 6 Garrett. This would start a Dash 10 Garrett. This would start a Dash 67 Pratt. That's gonna be the biggest thing that we would ever start that would come on the largest of ag planes being an 802. So this will cover anything that we would personally wanna start. So let's talk a little bit more about the unit. Besides the fact that they're 10, 15, and 20 amp, that also relates coincidentally to the weight of the unit as well. So this guy weighs about 20 pounds, the 15 is 15 pounds, and the 10 comes in at 10 pounds. That also correlates to the amperage. If you have more of a general aviation aircraft that maybe just has a Continental or a Lycoming on it, this is great to be able to throw in your baggage compartment and have it for emergencies. The reason I mention emergency situations is because unfortunately they do happen. I have a buddy with a Dash 10 Garrett and he was flying off of a satellite airstrip and the wind came up in the afternoon. He had to shut down and wait four or five hours for the wind to die until he could get going again. Well, he hopped in, turned the master on, went to start it, and found that it was barely wanting to spool up. It was noticeably slower. Well, he had a battery that had gone bad and he just didn't really pick it up throughout the previous starts. So now he's out in the middle of nowhere, goes to start it, and it's not gonna start for him. So now it becomes a giant headache. Well, if you just had one of these in your baggage compartment, it would be easy enough to obviously pull it out, plug it in, and you're back running again. On the ag side of things, that's probably one of the biggest attributes to the start stick is how portable it is. It's easy to just put it in the baggage compartment and always have it on board. Not only are we using it here at our home strip, but then when we're traveling with the airplane, we can definitely take it along with us. As I've traveled the country, I've seen quite a different number of things that people use to start their airplanes and what they will actually take with them. The most popular one that I've seen is a couple batteries that are mounted and it's slightly bigger than this 
but it kind of looks like a toolbox. It's probably about this long and this tall, has this big handle on it. But the biggest thing to this is how much it weighs. It's not something that you can easily get into your baggage compartment and then get back out. And I've seen guys pull these out of the baggage compartment with help and then set them on the ground and have someone with a dolly come out and grab it and then dolly it back to the hangar so that they can plug it in to charge it, bring it back out when they wanna start their airplane. It is the most cumbersome thing that I've ever seen. And a big reason is because of how heavy it is. With the start stick and the lithium battery that's in it, it's very light, it's easy to pick up. Obviously one person can do this, one person can plug it in. It's just easy to use and that makes our day-to-day -day operations that much easier. Speaking of the day-to-day -day operations, well, what did we do before we had the start stick? Well, we have this wagon and it's not just us. You can't judge us because of our wagon. A lot of operators use these junk wagons. So we have this wagon that we pull out there. It has two 12 volt batteries and they've been wired to give us 24 volts so that we can start the airplane. Now, the problem with this, inherently just looking at it, it works but we have had so many problems because it probably comes back to us, but we pull the batteries out of different things, be a truck, an airplane, whatever that is, and they usually then get handed down into the wagon. Well, that works for a couple months, and then you usually have one of the batteries on the wagon go bad on you because it's an old crummy battery to begin with. This year, we actually had one blow up on us, so I went to start it, I hit the starter, and I mean, it sounded like a shotgun went off. That's been one thing. The other is the battery's not holding a charge. Also charging it. So we come in here, we have a 24 volt charger over here and we have to take the leads, put them on the batteries, plug the charger in and then set it so that it'll charge the wagon. It's not the end of the world, but the charger's really expensive. What's great about this is that you can just plug it in directly to a wall outlet, your 110 volt. You can plug this directly into it. One end plugs into the start stick, the other end plugs right into the wall. Also, what's great about the start stick is if you just use this once, so we just get one start out of it, we take it off the airplane. If we wanted to recharge it back to 100%, it only takes about 30 minutes to get there. I did run this completely down to 0%, and at that point, it took about five and a half hours to get it fully charged again. A great feature about the start stick is that it does have this display on the very front, so I can power the unit on and the display comes up. It says what the serial number is, what the version is, and then at that point, it'll tell you exactly how much remaining capacity you have. Right now it's fully charged at 100%. If I started the airplane with this, it would read around 80 to 85%. So for our application, we typically get about four starts out of this. Now, one thing that StartStick has built in is that you can't run this down to 0% starting the engine. So let's say that it was at 20% and you go to start it and you usually use 25%. The start stick knows what its charge is and it will not let you start below 25%. So it actually comes up on the screen and says no start. At 30%, it'll still start. It'll say 30%, you can still start the airplane. What's great about that is it's not something that you have to physically think about because the start stick automatically takes care of it. You're never gonna do any damage to it. We have not even begun to tap into the longevity of this unit. Start stick is saying that you're gonna get three to 4,000 starts out of this before it needs to be overhauled. And that's really not a big deal because again, they're just down in Phoenix. You can send this off to them. They can do whatever they need to do to it and get it back out to you. You don't need to just throw this away and buy an entire new unit, which is always nice. We do have a couple accessories with the start stick. One being this extension cable right here. Now on this airplane, I can hang the start stick directly off of the receptacle, but on the other airplane, it's just a little bit more flimsy and I don't like hanging 20 pounds off of it. So we can set this on the wing and have enough of an extension that it prevents any weight from actually hanging directly on the receptacle. Startstick has told us that all of the receptacles that are used in the helicopter industry and your business jet, 
those can easily support this weight. Another accessory that Callie and I like is this Pelican case. This is great to just put the start stick in. You can throw your charger in there. It's all in one unit. We can take this, throw it in the back of a pickup if we need to, throw it in the baggage compartment, or if you're gonna put this in your helicopter or your jet, it's all in one nice package. I think you've gotten the gist of how much Callie and I like having the start stick around. Now we have found that it is an integral piece of equipment in our operation, mainly being because the motors on these airplanes are gonna cost anywhere from 150 to $300,000. And if you hot start one of those, that's money that you're out of. The insurance company is not going to cover that. Well, plugging this in ensures that we're not going to hot start the motor. It gives it a quicker spool up, resulting in cooler temperatures. That is everything that is going to help me sleep at night, especially if I have other pilots starting these. It should also be mentioned that this is reliable power. With the wagon, it was give or take on what kind of charge we were gonna have on those batteries. If one battery was a little bit better than the other and you didn't know it until you were trying to start the airplane and you're seeing that you're having hotter starts than normal. We don't have that issue with this. We put it on the bench, plug it in, charge it up, take it off, put it on the airplane and start the airplane. It works every time and we're never questioning anything, which again, helps me sleep better at night. If you guys have any questions about this start stick, you're welcome to leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Also, if you're looking for a little bit more up-to-date content, you can always find us on social media at Ag Aviation Adventures. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. Fly low and fly fast.